Uh, hi everyone, in interviewing Trixie after how many? Three games? Yeah, three games. Okay, say hello to Russian community. Uh, Privet, как дела? Hello. <laughs> what else do you know in Russian? Yeah, I know all the bad words, the Irina, Hoi, Suga, Blue, whatever you learn in Russian pubs, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> All of your teammates know such words, or or just no tail and you? I think it's no tail and me most, but I think everyone knows most of the words as well. So you, we play pubs, you know, you click English and uh, Russian language preference, so you <laughs> get to know all these new languages. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go into serious questions. First of all, I know that you actually are pl start playing in a really, really small city in Finland, like five thousand people yeah. how did you come to the pro stage i mean there was no like public ladder matchmaking or anything how did you come up to such high level from such a small city um well it's pretty much just that i always liked playing computer games like my both of my brothers played computer games and then i like looked up to them in a way then some of them like both of them stuff but i was still like hooked to playing and then i met uh, a lot of Finnish friends through internet. I met Rexy, Fraggy, whatever. Some people might know them. And then I played Dota 1 with them a long time ago. And then it doesn't matter where you're from pretty much. If, you, if you're good at a game and you play through the internet, you can be from a big or a small town. So that's pretty much it. So it was basically like public games that you started meeting people. And how did you meet international friends? Um, well, it was pretty much like <coughs> first you meet people uh, well back then let's say 2005 2006 whatever i met people through rc because that's how you found uh -huh. dota 2 dota 1 games i meant you joined an rc channel and then you did an in-house from there and then i happened to be an okay player i guess so then i managed to get into the international in-house leagues like uh -huh. ihcs dota invite and then some others as well and then didn't really make the biggest name out there in Dota 1, but I still think most of the uh, pros back then knew who I was, but I wasn't really a known player. But then pretty much when I got big, I guess, was during uh, Heroes of Nurse. Yeah, yeah, so course. then, uh, yeah, so then, yeah. Uh, okay, do you have now some closed, like, Scandinavian community? Um, not really, I think the in-house league communities died with Dota 2 and even Heroes of Nurse. And then what we have right now is just a bunch of Finnish friends that I've played with for 10 years or and so. What about the new generation of players? Do you have someone that will replace you and other known players from the Scandinavian region? I hope so. I, I know there's a lot of players from, from uh, Sweden and whatnot, but then from Finland, the problem is that Finns, for some reason, they don't want to form a team, or or if they form a team, Finns are kind of like Russians, so they just <laughs> fight each other, and then they get into internal conflicts, and then the team disbands. So that's the problem with Finns. And then Finns are pretty bad at making a name for themselves in a way. So even if someone's really good, they're not gonna make like a big fuss about it. They're not gonna try to approach anyone to maybe making a team and whatnot. So that's why you don't see really Finnish like other top players, I guess, in these events, in the ex except of me. Um, do you think that you were sitting at home so much because of it's cold outside, and that's why you were like sitting and playing Dota, and that's why you became so good? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I, w I don't know. I was. It's still like summer is so like warm everywhere. So during the winter, it's always cold. But then I don't know. For some reason, I always like staying home, just playing computer games didn't really when I when I we got our first um, ADSL or whatever you call it like broadband internet th that you could play really well with you pay w once per month and then you can you know then you can surf as much as possible uh -huh. so then that's pretty much when I became a no life guy I just did <laughs> I just sat in my home in a small town and uh, yeah play computer games and that's pretty much it do you work somewhere? Because I read that like half a year ago you were working all like full time. Um, wasn't half a year. It was like maybe a year ago. Like what I had at some point was uh, when we weren't as good as we are kind of like r right now. I don't think right now there's time to do anything ex except play Dota. So if you're like 
if you're playing at the international, you don't really have time. So I actually quit my job. Yeah, now I remember. I quit my job r- right after we got invited to TI3 because I knew I was not going to have time and I knew mm-hmm. I would get kicked out of, out of my job because I would go to boot camp to Serbia for two months like we did. So, and I was actually studying back then as well. So at one point I was playing Dota, I was studying and I was working. So that, that actually was my second question. What about studies? Are you finishing now or you took a pause or what are your plans in that direction? Well, I got into school 2009, but then I was studying business administration in English, but that kind of, I was studying in my old city that I lived in, but that kind of flopped in a way because I met my girlfriend. So then I moved to Helsinki and I got a study place from there as well. Like I said, when Dota wasn't as big, but then now that it really got big, I didn't have time to study either. So now I'm like taking a break from the school. Do you think it's actually will influence your life that you, you basically you sacrifice the job, you yeah. sacrifice the studies? Well, it's just the decisions in life that you do. I know that if I, if I would quit playing, I would regret it more than, uh-huh. you know, than uh, let's say that I would finish my school. Like it's something that playing Dota, playing in these events is something that not many people can do. So I think I'm like, I'm all for, I'm all for it. I'll just do this as long as I can and then we'll see what happens afterwards. Uh, so you don't have any source of money except Dota. Does it bring enough to live? Yeah, I mean, we get quite a bit of money we have a decent salary and we get like we if we do good in tournaments i'd say yeah we get a we get a decent living mm. oh even now you mentioned that you play quite a lot with friends yes. but you're like professional player right does it influence your skill because one thing is you play with your team the other thing is when you play like random public with 3k mmr you know yeah but the thing is i my friends are actually really high mmr as well uh-huh. so like we like everyone's over 5k pretty much so we always play against like decent enough opponents so it doesn't really matter like I, a lot of people play just like solo queue pubs as well but i kind of hate solo queuing it's i think it's much more fun to play with uh, it's just even just one friend and it's just much more enjoyable and then the games are pretty much like you can queue up against anyone you can queue up against the rank one solo queue you can queue up against dendy whatever so uh, like um few things about Dota. Uh, where did Nakes, Clockwork and Visage go from the pick? Um, Nakes pretty much, Nakes got nerfed and then everyone's playing heroes that just counter him. Everyone's playing like a Razor, um, then there's like Enigma, like all this stuff that just keeps Snakes down and there's no space for Nakes to do anything. And then the Visage, I mean vi- we saw vi- Cloud9 play Visage and they actually won. So they have their draw visage. So I guess it's visage. Like draw, it's combo. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a, I guess it's a kind of a gimmicky thingy nowadays. Visage got it's the same thing with visage. Visage got really nerfed. I love you, Isis. I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for beating you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So visage. And clockwork. Yeah, um, we're playing clockwork. So clock yeah. clockwork went nowhere. Um. You mentioned also that you don't like to play solo matchmaking because it's boring. You like to play with friends. Yeah. Do you still play like only with friends now? Or what do you think about solo matchmaking system in general? Um, well, sometimes if I don't have, if I happen to go online, I'm bored. Then I like, I don't have any friends around. Or if I have friends that I know I don't want to play with because they're terrible. So then I would rather play alone, you know, so, but then like we have no tail in our team we have honey in our team who are like the exact opposite of me uh-huh. it's like they like to play solo more but it's just like i said it's just the way i guess i was grown up i don't know how to say it in the dota world or like the internet world that i was always sort of playing with friends like so yeah because we always have this uh, let's say group of 10 people that we play with so like i said we for like 10 years so then some of them is always online so it's much more enjoyable to play with them and like stay on mumble and speak. One of our users actually ask, how do you play supports in solo matchmaking? Because your when you carry can't really carry. What do you do? Or if even if you are support in like professional place, you still pick carry in solo matchmaking and just carry the game yourself. Well, 
I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of different, I guess, in a way, like, I sometimes, because I don't know how to play sometimes, so then I just wait, and then it always ends up that everything else is picked, that I have to play a support, then what I do is I pick, like, an AA or CM or whatever, and then I just make a Midas, and I kind of, like, I buy the wards, but then I still have the Midas, so then, you know, I try to win, yeah, but the other one, the other thing you, you can do is that you just get a really good roamer, and you just roam around, I think that's actually one of the best ways to win the game hoping that you have someone with a decent brain that he actually comes with you to kill him. But then if you go in alone, then you just look, look like a retard, you know? So it's, you know, you have to have some trust in your teammates as well. Uh, did you have any cases where you hated your opponent or your teammate so much that you can, like, hurt him, like, physically? Every time someone picks Tinker or Void in public game, I just want to go to their <laughs> jaw and just punch them in the face because it's, like, the most boring shit ever any anyone can pick. Uh, how do you control yourself in a very long match so you don't get too stressed, you don't m start making lots of mistakes? I'm, for me, it's kind of, I'm really a calm person, I guess, so I don't really, I don't really, I mean, I get stressed, but I kind of know, kind of the feeling that I know that I'm getting stressed, so I know it's like I'm doing things with, like, without thinking, you know, then I just need to calm down. And then I'm actually, I actually think I'm, probably the guy in the team as well that will just say to people that just like Let's chill li like just fucking chill you know so then last time you had seven states placed at the international what the is your expectation now um well i think everyone's first goal pretty much right now is to get top eight because the prize pool is so top heavy in a way so if the difference between top eight and top nine it's like so big so everyone's aiming for pretty much top eight that's like our everyone uh, that's our first goal as well but of course we come here to win honey wanted to move to the united states last in after last international uh, did this change during the year and does he have a girlfriend still here uh w i don't know it's kind of a private matter i guess but they broke up and they were kind of how would i say it? they were kind of fighting really roughly in the room and I was with them in the same room while they were fighting so I think it's better they're separated now but I mean now she's with an Australian girl and she's actually coming here and then after this event they're going back together to Australia for like Kai is going there for a vacation so we'll see, the, we'll see what happens with that one You also mentioned that you don't like the treatment to the players as like stars or something like that uh, how is it on this international where it's 10 million dollars, you know? Do you feel the same like when you go everywhere around it's treating you as a star? Mm, I don't know, I think it's still like... It feels weird in a way, but I guess I understand it as well. But it's like, I don't really mind if someone gets happy for that I like sign their stuff if I take a picture with them. So if I can make someone happy, so simply then why not do it so um, about era few words do you feel that after he took so long break and he came back to dota he's now actually playing better because he relaxed and now he's back in shape and he's owning yeah i mean it's i mean he was he's always played uh, really good he always plays um, certain heroes like really well let's say like strength heroes and the good thing about right now is that the meta is so much about tanky heroes, strength heroes, so we can abuse this fact as well and those are pretty much like maybe a core of our strategy as well that we like to do nowadays. Do you think that this rest helped him or...? Um, it's really hard to say. Like I said, I, I think he always played good, so... You had four days to prepare for the international with him. Can you evaluate it or rate from one to ten? Um, the first day we played was terrible, the second day was terrible, and third and fourth were really good. So we had progress, and then we come here and we beat DK Navi, but then we sadly lost to Navi US. But then, like, we can pretty much beat anyone there is, so it's all good. There is an opinion that other four players except ERA, they actually improved quite a lot, because first you need to adapt to Excalibur, then the back to ERA, and that that's why you actually started to adapt to your opponents. Uh, do you f feel something like that? Um, I sort of 
can agree there is what what happened when we played with um Excalibur w was that we he kind of had one role that he could play he could play the middle role and then he could play let's say a handful of heroes yeah, right. so then so then we would have to like draft our lineup according oh, to okay. what he had but then we would also have to switch our roles so sometimes i would be playing role one or i would be playing uh off lanes, like we could have uh, no tail playing, uh, like s uh, position one, but then one game he could be like five or four, whatever. So then it's like we had to mix up really much. So in a way, yeah, I guess it really helped us as well. Um, Era is here with family. What about you guys? Do you miss your family? And do you think that it actually distracts him a bit from the team? It makes him a bit like distant from the team? Um, in a way, but we also we kind of made the rules when he came into here. I mean, we're playing for ten million of tens of mil like a ten million dollars. So then I un I think he understands that, like we're here to play and get the money. So it's good for him if we do real really well as well. So we just made rules that, like we have to stick to team. We have to like stick together, try to be as much together as possible. And then we if we have off days, if we have like a long break, then like people can chill with their families and whatnot and then about the first question yeah i mean w it was the same as the last summer i haven't really spent the summer with my girlfriend like ever yet so then it's always like kind of sad when it's uh, like pr pretty much the best time in finland but then you know it's it's what dota is so didn't you think to take her here why um, she she's working so like she can't really come but she was at ems though so did she like the experience? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. She like she likes the players like she we've we've been to I mean yeah, she was in Thor as well, which we won. So that was the first time she met our like the players that we're playing with and I mean so she's watching like games and everything. She's following Dota, right? Yeah, yeah. She was like my fan girl pretty much like <laughs> from Han, so I mean that's how we met. <laughs> Okay, you've <laughs> met her like f on some tournament. No, 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 no. <laughs> she contacted me through internet, and that's how we met. Okay, <laughs> really nice. Did you talk about Han on the first date, or <laughs> no? I can't remember anymore. <laughs> I, I think we just. She actually came to uh, Rexy's place when we were having a LAN, like of a bunch of people, and then we went out drinking and just had a lot of fun. Uh, coming back to a bit serious questions information about era and then uh, fnatic responses back and all this like miscommunication why did you think it was even possible why did it happen um pretty much what happened was that it was just we handled like from our part we handled the one meeting we had with adrian just badly and then adrian felt like he was sort of le like kicked even though he wasn't really kicked but he like he just like felt like felt out and then he sort of overreacted in a way and sent that uh, email to valve and then ev like just from there everything was just terrible because then later on he actually realized that he overreacted and then what valve did as well was just like o all they had was pretty much that one email that adrian sent which like sort of makes them look like they did their job in a way like in a way it is like that but there's still like so many so many sides to the story but it's like i really don't really even want to get into it pretty much do you think it was fair the final decision of valve do you think it was fair um like it's hard to argue like from our perspective when we know what actually happened i say no but from an outside like from s an outside it's hard to argue against it. Uh, if you had a choice, your girlfriend or winning TI for what would you choose? Why do you why do you ask this <laughs> question? Um, I can take half, and I take half of my girlfriend. So it's <laughs> half and half. I can live with that. What hamburgers are better? European or American? European. Yes, Americans are too fatty. Okay. Like I'm, I'm not the fittest guy there is, but like American, I don't know. I just don't like the way they do things here. Um, 
whiskey or scotch? God, I don't really like either one. Let's say whiskey. Do you think al drinking too much alcohol distracts from playing tournaments? If you have a day off, then not really. Like if like the we had a thing in El Gaucho, then like everyone from us was pretty much drinking because we knew we would have a day off. But then let's say you, let's say I would drink, we win the rest of our games, we win EG newbie, then I get really drunk, I get really shit faced, and then I go like party party, and then I have to wake up tomorrow morning. So that that yeah you know that's not gonna work out. Um, why would anyone buy a set for Ricky Maro if it's invisible? That's a tough question. You, I think what you do though is that you buy dust and sentries and gem, and then you can see the guy. <laughs> <But> <laughs> you need to like you need opponents to buy that. You know, you you want to feel you you want to see that yourself. Yeah, but you can drop sentries <laughs> to opponents, so then they see you as well. You know. Yeah. What's your favorite? TV series and why? Mm, probably Game of Thrones. I don't know. It's like I just like watching. I don't really watch that many like normal series. I like watching. I like watching some anime, some whatever. But I really don't have that much time if I'm back home because I have to play Dota. I have to be with my girlfriend. I have to do some other stuff as well. So then, don't really have time for series. And then I would rather like if I would watch something, I would rather watch a movie or something. You know. Okay. So then, yeah, Game of Thrones. I'd say it's like the only like normal series that I like watch right now. And about the movies, okay, what would you recommend from the latest movies? I don't know, I like quite a bit of movies. I like thriller movies the most, like thriller, like thriller, crime, drama pretty much. So anything from that genre and I'm like pretty much sold. Unless the plot is really, really terrible. What do you think about Memento? Which one? Memento. Ah yeah, mom, yeah, it's it's good. It's really good. I mean, once you see it the first time, you pretty much know the deal. So I mean, it's a good movie to watch one. Okay. Uh, any shout outs, sponsors, or thanks to anyone? Yeah, shout out to all the fans. If you have Russian fans, I guess we have a uh, Russian fan. So shout out to Nota as well for giving us more uh, yeah. Russian fans, and shout out to uh, all these sponsors <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, thanks everyone for watching. That was more for Dota coverage for the internationals. See you guys.